viewers, today we will be discussing stereo sound. How can we tell where a sound is coming from and how can we simulate or fake it with speakers? The ability to hear three-dimensional sounds, since that's what we're dealing with here, requires the use of two or more auditory sensors. In a human, those are the ears. The distance between the ears determines how difficult it is to determine where a sound is coming from. Sound travels in waves emanating from the source outwards. When a sound wave reaches our ears, we hear the sound. Since we have two ears, the sound will be heard by both ears. The sound will, however, not be heard at the same time in both ears. From the difference in arrival times, our brain figures out where the source of the sound is located. So, how does that work then? Sound travels at 343.2 meters per second, assuming dry air at 20 degrees Celsius. The distance between your ears is about 20 centimeters or 0.2 meters. In a schematic setup, it will look like this. Two auditory sensors at 0.2 meters from each other. If we make a sound, the waves will travel outwards and reach one of the ears first, and a fraction of a second later, it will reach the second ear. Imagine the sound is located at 5 meters to the right and 3 meters in front of us. That would mean the sound has to travel 5.75 meters to the right ear and 5.92 meters to the left ear. That's a difference of 0.17 meters or with the speed of sound of 343.2 meters per second, 0.50 milliseconds. Since the sound arrives first at the right ear, our brain knows the sound came from the right, and since the difference was 0.50 milliseconds, our brain knows the angle. Our brain does not know, however, whether the sound came from the front or from the back. That's where your ear shape comes in. Your ear shape is such that it generates a small echo. This echo is different for sounds coming from the front and sounds coming from the back, thus giving us the direction of the sound. Now that we know this, how can we fake it with speakers? Speakers can range from a headset to a complete home entertainment system. The principle stays the same. All we have to do to fake the sound direction is to replicate the difference in arrival time between the ears. For a headset, this means directly apply the difference to each ear. A home entertainment system puts a similar time difference on the sound, but here you have to take into account where the speakers are located with respect to the people. Home entertainment system have a so-called sweet spot where all of the sounds are perfectly perceived by our brains. For the region around that point, the sounds are still acceptable, but if you venture too far from the sweet spot, the sounds will not make any sense anymore to our brains and the effect is lost. The problem we had with whether a sound comes from the front or the back mostly doesn't need a solution for speakers since they are most often combined with a visual stimulus such as a television or computer screen. This visual stimulus tells our brain where the sound comes from. In short, you need at least two auditory sensors and a shaped ear to determine the direction of a sound, although three auditory sensors would negate the necessity of a shaped ear. I hope you learned something today and I will see you next time.